So um yeah guys. Um this thing need a water pump man. Um Damn this place is pretty tight out here. Um D12 motor. The water pump is on the passenger side. It was actually leaking pretty bad. What I ended up doing, I put a stop leak in there, you know, to just fix it temporarily. So I have I haven't been losing much, but I will definitely get it replaced while I'm down here because I can't do this job up there, man. It's cold as hell right now, a lot of snow. So um, yeah, um, every time I go to like a love station, I would just fill up all these jugs. And then just put regular water in there. That way I don't spend too much money on, um, I don't spend too much money on, uh, antifreeze, right? But, like I said, this is, I'm doing this just temporary. In a way that I'm able to drop that load. So, um, it's like every two hours. Every two hours, I'm ending up putting like two gallons of water. No, not two hours. Every like three, four hours. Every time I check, it will be way in the bottom. See, now I just put one gallon. So it's right here. So I just put two. I'm only like an hour away from my brother. And that's going to be in Cold Springs, Florida. And then we will get this taken care of. I have a part number for you guys, but anyhow, I might head up, make another video on this to show you guys how I'm going to be replacing the water pump. And, um, yeah, we we'll go from there. I'm using one hand doing this, guys, so it's kind of tough, all right? Yeah, YouTube, man, um, this is my situation right there. And I'm going to show you guys one other thing I did because I was getting tired of it, man. Keep, that thing would keep stopping on me. As you guys know, Volvo, how they make their technology with the computer system. Um, here's your sensor. I hope you can see that. It's a connector to the sensor down there. Down here, right down here. So when the coolant level go past that um, sensor I will get a stop indicator light inside the truck on the dashboard and then the truck will just automatically shut off with, with me you know so I already know I have that problem what I did I ended up disconnected it so it's not working right now so even if the when my coolant or regular water that I'm using right now pass that level it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything see what i mean it, it's not gonna read anything to keep making the engine stop and it you know it's a way to do that to kind of protect your engine just in case if you don't check your coolant level and then um when it reach that level it will just stop the engine so you would have to figure out what's going on when you open the hood then whatever whatever and one other thing i don't tight the reservoir cap all the way so I kind of loosen it up a little bit so that I don't build too much pressure. I don't build too too much pressure in here. You see what I mean? And um, that's basically what's going on right now. Because, you know, more pressure you build in the system, there's going to be more water dripping from the water pump. That's how I see it. But... Uh, I will get it replaced. The water pump is in the passenger side. Right here. That's your water pump right there for the D12 motor. Volvo D12. This green engine, guys. Yeah, and this truck from up north. And, you know, there's a couple parts. They're very rusty. That's going to have to be replaced. Like this pipe. You know, the snow just fucking up with everything, guys. And um, to do this job, I'm going to have to remove the air compressor out the way. This big old turbo pipe gonna have to come off, and then to get to it, yeah, I will. I would be shooting another video, but the way they set this thing up, the water pump is attached to the felt, um, the cool cool it filter housing, so this whole part down here gonna have to come off, which of course this bolts from up here, from up front to remove 
the air compressor. You know. Um, yeah, I will be making another video about that to show you guys how I'm removing it, and then we we'll go from there. I ordered the part; I should get it here uh, by tomorrow. They said. Hopefully, I do get it by then, and then yeah, I can get back on the road. All right, it's your boy Trucker Ben. Thanks for watching. I will be coming up to you guys with another video. Like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you guys have um, any comment. All right, happy new year to everybody.